Hong Kong protester stabbed in the neck and abdomen while handing out flyers. Here's a summary of the article. A young man was slashed across the neck and abdomen while handing out leaflets near the Lenin Tunnel by Tai Po Market MTR station on Saturday afternoon. The attacker is reported to have shouted, Hong Kong is part of China and that the leaflets were creating a mess. The injured man, who was wearing black clothes and a face mask, slumped to the ground and passers-by attempted to stem the bleeding from his wounds. The suspected perpetrator, a man also dressed in black, headed to the bus terminal opposite the station. Video footage showed people berating a man who appeared to be waving around some kind of knife. Police said the suspect was believed to have left the area in a taxi following the attack, which happened at around 5 p.m. The victim was conscious when he was taken into an ambulance to go to hospital. Graphic photos shared online seemed to show a serious wound to his abdomen. This post received a score of 72,235, with an upvote ratio of 93%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. The person who stabbed him did not immediately flee the scene and after the attack stood across the road shouting, Hong Kong is China. The attack looks to be rather severe as multiple images, videos show the victim's intestines hanging out. A 22-year-old has been arrested for the crime of wounding. Update as of midnight Hong Kong time, the victim has received emergency surgery but his condition is not being released yet as per the wishes of his lawyer, family. For fuck's sake that's really brazen behavior. He wants to get arrested? Fuck he'll probably get a medal for this. Earlier this month, a taxi driver deliberately crashed into a crowd of protesters, crippled a girl. No charge from the police afterwards, and got a $520,000 HKD approximately. 66k USD, donation from pro-gov organization. Greater than earlier this month, a taxi driver deliberately crashed into a crowd of protesters, crippled a girl. No charge from the police afterwards, and got a $520,000 HKD, approximately. 66k USD, donation from pro-government organization. Same as this guy. Warning graphic bloody images. Likely NSFW. Opening square bracket. I'm usually lackadaisical about actually upvoting the threads, but I'd imagine anyone who clicks this link would compel to do so. Freedom ain't free. No, it's not. But it's also surprisingly cheap to buy, especially from a population that's grown complacent and self-absorbed. Easy to sell, hard to buy back. Like a sword in a video game. Just ask LeBron. LeBron is a piece of shit. The police strongly condemn any acts of violence. Regardless of the motives or background, we will take every case seriously and carry out investigation actively, the statement said. Sure, they will. Investigation is now complete. No one was stabbed. Accidental paper cut is a real thing. Be more careful when you hand out flyers next time. The protesters should be more careful. They keep getting accidental paper cuts. But remember guys, LeBron had a difficult week. Did the protester even consider how much money LeBron could lose? Very selfish protesters, s. They can make it up to him by seeing CCP approved Space Jam 2. Coming to theaters near you on July 16, 2021. I don't get these people so willing to use violence to defend their totalitarian state. Totally brainwashed. It's called ultranationalism and since the party has usurped the meaning of the word China, it has become the idol of these extremists. Looks like you are describing almost all of the citizens in my country which is Turkey. Greater than criticizing Turkey online. Oh god here they come. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.